Good day! Our video for today is about capital budgeting. So what is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting refers to the process a business undertakes to evaluate potential major projects or investments such as new plans or equipments that needed a capital budgeting before they are approved or rejected. The process involves analyzing a project's cash inflows and outflows to determine whether the expected return meet a set benchmark. Investment appraisal is another name for capital budgeting. In ideal world, companies will explore all projects and opportunities that increase shareholders' value and profit. Because the quantity of capital or money available for new projects in every firm is limited. So management employs a capital budgeting strategies to assess which initiatives will provide best return over a given period of time. So the major methods of capital budgeting include discounted cash flow, payback and throughput analysis, Discounted cash flow or DCF is analysis look at the initial cash outflow needed to fund a project. The mix of cash inflows in the form of revenue and other future outflows in the form of maintenance and other costs. These cash flows except for the initial outflow are discounted back to the present date. The resulting number from DCF analysis is the net present value, which is NPV. The cash flows are discounted since present value states that an amount of money today is worth more than the same amount in the future. With any project decision, there is an opportunity cost, meaning the return, that is foregone as a result of pursuing the project. In other words, the cash inflows or revenue from the project needs to be enough to account for the cost, both initial and ongoing, but also needs to exceed any opportunity cost with present value and the future cash flows are discounted by the risk-free rate, such as rate in the U.S. Treasury bond, which is guaranteed by the U.S. government. The future cash flows are discounted by the risk-free rate or discount rate because the project need to at least earn that amount. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth pursuing. Also, a company might borrow money to finance a project and as a result, must at least earn enough revenue to cover the cost of financing it or the cost of capital. Publicly traded companies might use a combination of debt such as bonds or a bank credit facility and equity or stock shares. The cost of capital is usually a weighted average of both equity and debt. The goal is to calculate the hurdle rate or the minimum amount that the project needs to earn from its cash inflows to cover the cost. A rate of return above the hurdle rates create value for the company while a project that has a return that less than the hurdle rate would not be chosen. Project manager can use the DCF model to help choose which project is more profitable or worth pursuing. Projects with the highest NPV should rank over the others unless one or more are mutually exclusive. However, project managers must also consider any risk of pursuing the project. Payback analysis is the simplest form of capital budgeting analysis but it also the least accurate. It's still widely used because it's quick and can give managers a back of the envelope, understanding of the real value of a proposed project. Payback analysis calculates how long it will take to recoup the cost of an investment. The payback period is identified by dividing the initial investment in the project by the average yearly cash inflow that the project will generate. The project with the shortest payback period will likely to be chosen. However, there are some limitations to the payback method since it doesn't account for the opportunity cost or the rate of the return that could be earned had they not chosen to pursue the project. Payback analysis is usually used when the companies have only a limited amount of funds or liquidity to invest in a project and therefore need to know how quickly they can get back their investment. Also, payback analysis doesn't typically include any cash flows near the end of the project lives. 
Truth put analysis is the most complicated form of capital budgeting analysis, but also the most accurate in helping managers decide which projects to pursue. Under this method, the entire company is considered as a single profit generating system. Truth put is measured as an amount of material passing through that system. The analysis here assumes that nearly all costs are operating expenses that the company needs to maximize the truth put of the entire system to pay for expenses and that the way to maximize profits is to maximize the truth put passing through a bottleneck operation. A bottleneck is the resource in the system that requires the longest time in operations. This means that managers should always place a higher priority on capital budgeting projects that will increase truth put of flow passing through the bottleneck. Thank you for listening.